What's up guys, Ghulam Ahmed with geneactivated.ca. Welcome to day 13. I'm gonna teach you a lot of stuff today. We're gonna to be using textbooks, I'm joking. I'm gonna teach you stuff, but we're not gonna be using textbooks to learn. But we're gonna actually use this to do one of the workouts at the end, because I figured most of you guys don't have dumbbells at home. So I'm like, why don't I bring a thick textbook as one of my textbooks from universities to actually do one of the workouts. So at the end, we're gonna use a textbook. So if you have a textbook, a good one at home, make sure you bring that. We're gonna use that for the exercise. Today is day 13. We're gonna get right into the workouts. We're gonna start with three sets of 20 second football drills today. Now, these football drills, we're gonna kinda of split it up. I know it's a lot. I know I've been getting some remarks about, you know, these are a little tough, Gulambay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna break them up into 10 second intervals. We're gonna do 10 seconds, take a five second break, and then do 10 seconds again for a total of 20 seconds. We're gonna do that for three sets, okay? So welcome back, guys. Let's get going. I'm gonna put this away, and then we're gonna get started, okay? Okay, so, Along with a textbook, you will also need, I forgot to mention, you will also need a stool uh, because we're gonna do one of the stretches at the end today and that's gonna require a stool. It's a new stretch for you guys and you guys are gonna really like this stretch. So let's get going. We're gonna do football drills. Ready? Spread out your feet. Make sure your feet are spread apart, okay? Don't have them close by. You stay on your toes and we're gonna try to go as fast as we can for 10 seconds, take a five second break. Ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five second break. This one always moves my mat. Four, three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Whew. Okay, good. So that's 20 seconds. We're gonna take a 30 second break now, okay? And then we're gonna do that again. Now, if you can't do it this fast, not a big deal. You can go slower, don't worry about it, okay? Ready, guys? Let's go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, sorry, nine, 10. So you see how I kind of went a little bit slower there? That's, you could do that too. You could raise your feet a little bit more and that'll be easier for you. So five, Four, three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, just showing you how to go a little bit slower, how to keep up, okay? Second set's done, guys, you're doing great. One more set, okay? This is one of the hardest parts of the workouts, don't worry. We're gonna get it out of the way in the beginning, okay? So that we can get a strong workout and finish strong. Keep breathing. Beautiful. So this one, we're gonna to try to go a little faster if we can. Okay, and go. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Five, four, three, Two, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, look, <laughs> ten. I'm like drifting apart. So sometimes what happens is your your legs they just don't work anymore. There's just so much tension on it, it just stops working, and your your brain is not able to do what your body wants to do. So, <laughs> but that was good. So that was your third set, <laughs> and now we're gonna take a minute break. So breathe. Kind of like a crab there, crawling back and forth, huh? Breathe. Good job, guys. So now we're gonna do the second success, which is gonna be push-ups, okay? So for this one, what you're gonna do is, we're gonna do eccentric push-ups, we're gonna do full push-ups today. So it's gonna be another way for you to actually um, build your strength for push-ups. So I'm gonna take you through that once we do a little bit more breathing, because I'm out of breath. One more. There you go, okay. So we're back. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do push-ups. We're gonna do three sets of six push-ups, okay? But what I want you to do is, if you've been doing them this whole time, we've been doing them on our knees, right? Now we're gonna do them on our feet. So don't get scared, you can still do it. But we're not gonna push up, we're just gonna go down 
in a very slow and controlled manner. We're gonna go down in about five seconds, go all the way to the floor, get back on our knees and come back up and do it again. So for the push-up, the half, half part of the push-up is actually going down. So if we can build our strength going down and doing, getting better at the half, uh, getting better at 50% of doing the push-up, then we'll be able to build the strength to do the other 50% of the push-up. So that's what we're gonna work on today. So what we're gonna do is, right here, what I want you to do is, the first one I will demonstrate and then we'll actually start counting. So this is how you've been doing them. What I want you to do is, I want you to get up on your feet this time, okay? So right here, and then all we're gonna do is we're gonna take five seconds to go all the way down. So one, two, three, four, five. So now I want you to relax, okay? And then what I want you to do is I want you to get back onto your knees like this, and then up on your feet again. So now let's go. One, two, three, four, five, good. Get up again, and one, two, three, four, two, good. Get up again. One, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. Get up again. One, two, three, four, four. Very nice. We got two more. One, two, three, four, five. And we got our last one. One, two, three, four, six. Beautiful. So that's a way to build some strength and to being able to do full push-ups. So that's what we're gonna work on today. And if you probably noticed that throughout this series, I'm really trying to get you to you know, increase in your push-up strength and being able to do good, really good push-ups. So that's one way to do it. So now we're gonna take a little bit of a break and then we're gonna do the second set. Breathe. Okay, let's go again. So again, let's start at the top. Take five seconds to go down, okay? One, two, three, four, five, good. And then come back up again. One, two, three, four, five, good. That's two. Up again, breathe. One, two, three, four, five, that's three. Halfway, one, two, three, four, five, and that's four. Almost here, guys, you got two more. You're doing great. Get up again, one, two, three, four, five, beautiful. Okay, last one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, very nice guys. So that's your second set. Now we're gonna take a little break. We're gonna take 30 seconds and then we're gonna breathe. Then do the last set. Good job. How are you guys uh, holding up now? This is day 13. I believe it's the 15th fast for most of us. So let me know in the comment section below how your rows have been going so far, how's your speciality, how's your you know, mental state is improving or not, you're able to control yourself more. So do comment, let me know how your rows are going okay, and how you're finding these workouts. I'd love your feedback. So let's do the next last set now, guys. Okay, ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five. One, one, two, Three, four, two. Very nice. Let's get back up again. And on the feet. One, two, three, four, five. Good. And one more time. One, two, three, four, four. Good. Now we got two left. One, two, three, four. Five, beautiful. Last one. Ready, we're up. And one, two, three, four. Beautiful. 
Six. Very nice. Okay, let's breathe. You guys are doing so good. I'm really proud of you guys. You guys made it this part. Day 13 is, is not, it's not easy, okay? They're getting harder and harder and you guys are keeping up. You're doing wonderful. So keep going. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is, the next exercise that we're gonna do is gonna be for your abs again, okay? This is gonna be a new exercise today we're gonna do. And these are called leg climbs, okay? So you're pretty much climbing your own leg. And I'll teach you how to do that. It's not so difficult. There's a few different variations you can do. So we're gonna get into it now. So what you wanna do is lie down on the floor, okay? And if you're somebody that has good core stability, you can keep one leg up, right? But if you don't, then you can keep the other leg down, right? What you wanna do is you wanna get this leg up here and you have to climb your leg and touch the top of your toe. Once you tap the top of your toe, your foot, that counts as one rep. So we're gonna do eight to 10 reps. So what you wanna do is you wanna get up, climb it, touch, and come back down. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now, that's your one side. We're gonna do the other side as well. We're gonna do eight per side. Now, you don't wanna be moving your leg back and forth as you're coming up. Your leg stays exactly where it is, okay? You get the other leg down, and let's climb it. See, I'm not moving my leg. Touch. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. One more. 10, good. Now, let's take a break, 30 seconds. So that was your first set. Uh, I know it's a little bit different, a little bit, a little bit difficult as well, but you'll really feel it in your core as you're climbing up. So, sorry, let's breathe. Very nice. So I'm gonna teach you how to make it a little bit more difficult if you're somebody that's a little bit more advanced. So what you can do is, one is you don't have to touch your leg. Don't climb up. Just reach for the foot straight ahead, okay? So let's try that. But if, if you're having trouble, you can stick with the first way again, you can just climb. So I'll teach you how to do the other variation in the second one. So what we're gonna do is, again, the same leg, keep it straight. So what I was saying was you just reach up like this, touch and back, two, three, four, okay? But let's climb up and go up, five, Six, seven. You also do want to let go of your hands, then come up again. Eight, nine, ten. Um, I'm going to give you a few seconds to finish that. And because I know I went straight in the beginning, so that must have taken a little longer. So now we're going to switch sides. So again, keep the other leg straight, this leg straight ahead, climb up, tap, one. Climb up, tap, two. Climb up, three. Climb up, four, beautiful. Five. Six, very nice. Seven. Eight. Nine. Oh, well, 10. Beautiful, okay. So second set is done, guys, very nice, okay. Let's take a little break, 30 seconds, we're gonna breathe. Beautiful. And then in the third set, I'm gonna teach you exactly, actually how to make it even harder. So the idea is to bring the other leg that was straight and bend it, okay? That's gonna make it a little bit more tougher. So we'll do that in the third set. Okay, 
So right here, what you want to do is, you want to, instead of keeping this leg straight, you want to bend it a little bit. So the more you bend it closer to you, the harder it will get. So let's bend it like a little bit here, here, up until there, and then we're going to keep this one up. Climb up, touch, and back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful, guys. Now we're gonna do the other side, same thing. Let's keep a little bend, and right about here, and then we climb, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, keep climbing guys, two more. Nine. Ooh, beautiful, 10. Okay, very nice. So that's your three sets done for the abs. Very, very good. Let's take a minute break, let's breathe, and we're gonna get into the fourth exercise, okay? So breathe. So we did squats last week, right? We did it on a chair. I think you guys are ready to do it without a chair now. So we're gonna, if you feel like you're not comfortable doing it without a chair, go ahead, get your stool, and we can do it with a stool as well. But today we're gonna do three sets of 12 squats without a chair. So these are body weight squats we're gonna do. And I will try to put a, uh, actually I'll put a link in the video, uh, in the description in the video below about how to do a squat for beginners. So I have a full video tutorial on this on my YouTube channel. So make sure you check that out and that'll really help you and give you some more cues as well. So what you do is here, okay, shoulder width. We're gonna take our hips back towards the wall behind us. Go down and push the ground down and come back up, one. Similarly like you would sit down behind a chair, right? Push, two, three, four, very nice. Five, make sure your knees don't collapse inside. They have to stay outside. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Very nice guys. Let's take a 30 second break. You're doing great. I'm gonna show you from the side this time. So a few things is, number one, don't think about coming up. Think about pushing the ground down, right? Number two, make sure your knees stay outside and they don't collapse inside, okay? Let's take a little breather. Okay, so let's show you from the side now. So again, take the hips back, push the ground down, hips through, squeeze your butt. One, two, three, four, five. You should go at least 90 degrees if you can. Six, if you can't, no problem, don't worry. Seven, go as low as you can. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, beautiful, okay? That's the second set, guys, let's breathe, 30 seconds, then we're gonna do our third set. One more exercise after that, and then you're done the workout, then we're gonna get into the stretches, okay? So let's breathe. You're doing great, guys, you're doing so good so far. We got just one more, one more set left, and we'll move on. Keep breathing with me. Okay, ready? Let's show you from this side now. And down, squat, push. One, two, three. Push the ground down. Four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine. Keep breathing, guys. 10, you're doing great. 11, one more. And 12, beautiful. So that's your squats done. Now we're gonna do another new exercise today for your lower back, okay, to help to strengthen your lower back. Let's take a breather and then we'll get into that exercise, okay? So let's breathe. So guys, this is the exercise that I told you that you're gonna need a textbook for, okay? So let's get the textbook now and we're gonna get into this exercise. So this is called a kneeling plate press, okay? But in this case, it'll be a kneeling book press because you don't have a, a plate like you do in the gym. So what you're gonna do actually is you're gonna get onto your knees, okay? Now, what I want you to do is, I want you to drop your hips back slightly here, okay? I want you to keep your chest up tall so you develop a bit of an arch here. There should be an arch in your lower back, okay? So like this. Now I want you to keep this position, don't move this position. So take out your butt, okay, hips back, pop your chest up, make sure there's an arch in your back. This exercise you should be feeling from here all the way down to here, okay? Now from this position, keep your chest up and arched, and now you're gonna start pushing the weight out in front of you and back. One, nice and controlled. Two, you should already be feeling it in your back, three, as long as you do it nice and controlled. Four, five, six, seven. Sorry, I forgot to tell you, we're gonna do three sets of 12. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Beautiful. So, that would, or you could or you should already automatically feel it in your lower back there, and that's a great way to build up some strength and some tolerance in your lower back and to make it more, uh, more firm. So you can go up a little bit if you like, you get a heavier textbook, or if you like, you have a dumbbell, use a dumbbell. So I'm gonna get a dumbbell now because that was way too light for me, and then you can, you can kind of gauge it according to what, what works for you, okay? For example, this is 15 pounds, and that's actually quite a lot for this exercise, okay? So 10 pounds or five pounds works really well. So again, sit your hips back, Right, chest out and then push. One, two, three, nice and controlled. Four, I go nice and slow, I don't go fast. Five, six, seven, nine. Well, that was great. That was pretty challenging for me. So that's a good, you know, that's a good way for you then. So that's gonna be your second set. We're gonna take a little break for 30 seconds. I forgot to mention this is also a great exercise for your core because as you keep a weight outside of you, or outside of your center of gravity, your core starts to become, uh, it starts to turn on to become, to, to activate your muscles so that you can stabilize your core. Okay, so it starts to, you work towards stabilizing it. So whew, out of breath now, talking so much to you guys. All right, ready? Last set, again, take your hips back, pop your chest up, keep your back tight, and push. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nice and controlled, guys. Eight, keep your chest up, expand your chest. Nine, open it up. 10, 12, beautiful guys, that's it, you're done the workout for day 13, okay, very nice, let's take a little break, take a little bit, about a minute time, we're going to breathe and then I'm going to take you to my stretch, and it's called the thoracic extension stretch, it's a great stretch for your lats, your back, your triceps, and for your upper back, okay, so to open up your thoracic spine, so that's your upper torso here. So wonderful stretch. Okay, so let's take a little break and we're gonna breathe. I'm gonna put this guy away and then we're gonna get into it. Okay. So now we have our stool. We're gonna get into the stretch. So what you wanna do is, yes, you wanna get onto the floor here. You can get any stool or bench that you can find, right? And then you wanna put your elbows 
on the stool. And then what you want to do is you want to take your butt back towards your heels. At the same time, you want to bring your hands closer to your shoulders. So what this is going to do is when you come down, it's going to open up your, 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 your spine here, your upper back. It's also going to stretch your lats and your triceps at the same time. So you're going to sit back. And every time you breathe out, you should be able to go lower and lower. So did you notice that every time I would breathe out, I would get lower and lower? So I do that a few times. So I'll do it once, then I'll come back up again, and then I'll try to stretch again and pull down. And every time I do that, I'll be able to get closer and closer. So you want to do that for about 15 to 20 breaths. You can do it for three times, three sets. And that's a great way to stretch out your upper back, your lats, and your triceps. There you have it, guys. That's day 13 in the books. Good job. You're doing amazing. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me. Please do take, some, do take a second to share this with some of your friends and and family so that they can also get benefit out of these workouts and these stretches and i'll see you guys tomorrow for day 14 take care